Back at the Meadowlands, and half of the field loaded, ready for their mile and a sixteenth journey on this ribbon of dirt racetrack on a beautiful evening here, just a few moments from the concrete canyons of Manhattan. I can see the uh, Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building from my booth. I can also see Danzig Connection moving into line. Danzig Connection is a generous four to one. The favorite right now is the 10 horse Groovy at two. And Stormcat, that beautifully bred horse that Chris McCarran rides, is at three to one. And we got a couple 99 to one shots, Mr. Spiffy and Dunsany. The 12 horse Magambo that Pete takes a fancy to is at five to one in the wagering here. The assistant starters getting ready to move Mr. Classic. And he, look how small small he is compared with the other horses if you can see the comparison there and uh, that's Murray Guerin's charge here comes Groovy the favorite in the line he's acting pretty good then we have Navy Admiral and Magambo Navy Admiral the beautiful gray here by Mr. Prospector one more to go and then we'll be set for the Young America 1985 have we got some future classic winners in here well we'll find out and we'll find out uh, oh, we're going to find out if Magambo wants to go into the starting gate Angel Cordero Jr., who last week flew over to England and won a couple races over there, jumped back across the pond on the Concord and won again at uh, Belmont. Now we're all in line, and nope, we're not yet. As you can see, Magambo is having a bit of trouble, but that makes a dozen in the starting gate right now. They are all in line. We're ready for the start. They're off. Mr. Spiffy stumbled a bit at the start, but there on the outside goes Groovy up to take command quickly with Stormcat on the inside right at the rail in second. Middle of the racetrack, that's Danzig Connection. In second now, Stormcat at the rail is third. Then comes Hey Now Harry racing fourth by a length. With Sovereign down on the outside, fifth, three parts of a length, Navy Admiral is sixth along the inside by two. Mogambo is seventh at this point. It's a gap of six lengths back to Mr. Classic. Then between horses, Mr. Spiffy, Roger's Revenge on the outside, two back Dunsany, and far back, another Romeo is the trailer. The 12 continue down the back stretch with Groovy, the front runner, enjoying a two and a half length advantage and Danzig Connection stalks the leader from the second spot by two, then Stormcat racing third, and at the rail, Hey Now Harry is fourth. 22 and four the quarter, the half in 46 seconds as they journey to the far turn, and it's Groovy in front every step of the way now leading it by one length but here comes Danzig Connection and on the outside Stormcat three of them across the track as they come to the quarter pole on the inside Groovy between horses Danzig Connection Stormcat on the outside those three across the track now it's Danzig Connection Pat Day aboard taking command three parts of a length Stormcat and Chris McCarran alongside the challenge and down the stretch they come Danzig Connection at the race Stormcat on the outside. Stormcat now with a short lead Danzig connection. At the rail, Magumbo is flying in third. Here's the wire and here's the winner. Oh, too tight to call. Stormcat and Danzig connection bobbing of the heads at the end of the mile and a sixteenth in the Young America. The time on the board, one minute, 43 and three-fifths seconds, and they'll wait for the photo, Chris. But... All right, thank you, Dave. That 143 and 3, by the way, just three minutes of a second off of the stakes record. Set in 79 and again equaled in 80 of 143. The track record, by the way, by a Robert Brennan horse in 84 was 140 and 3. So a very fast race speed axiom and a mile and a 16th for these young two year olds. Well, these are nice horses. Uh, uh, none of them may be uh, Ojiji, and uh, it looks like the, the uh, favorite for the Breeders' Cup and the championship, but, uh, but these are good horses. They ran a tremendous competitive race uh, and uh, 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 they're legitimate horses. Stormcat has had his problems drifting in and out. Uh, he did a little of that today, tonight, but he still ran his race. Uh, Danzig Connection uh, just ran his heart out like a Woody Stevens horse you would expect. And uh, of course, Mo Gambo came up on the inside and uh, uh, story of my life, uh, I bet him in exactness and he got third. Well, Charlesy, can you make anything out of it as we look at the stretch run again? Well, Chris, it was as, as exciting a stretch run as you'll ever want to see. I don't 
I don't know how you can uh, separate the two of them at the finish as they came through the stretch. Mogambo had a rough trip along the inside, but it was Groovy who'd given way after setting the early fractions, and Danzig Connection, who'd lain closer than uh, probably trainer Woody Stevens had expected, wearing those blinkers. He showed a bit more speed. He looked like a winner, but don't give up on Stormcat, because here he comes. He collars Danzig Connection, and the two of them really fight it out. And Mogambo, who had a rough turn or a trip around the first turn and a rough drive through the stretch, he's closing awfully fast and the three of them come to the wire together. It looks to me as though Stormcat wound up getting it by a bob, but it was a tremendous effort on all three of these finishers. Chris? Well, Charles, he thinks it's the three horse. You see him right there. It's uh, three, eight, and 12 across the way. And there is, by the way, still a photo sign. No numbers up on the board. They're taking a close look at the photo. Pete, let's make a quick uh, comment of yours here about the split times for this race. They really got off to a quick start. It was a brisk pace, uh, very honestly run race. Groovy went out and set a very honest pace. Uh, I was particularly impressed with Danzig Connection, uh, even though I don't believe he won it, although we have to wait for the photo. But uh, he pressed the pace, ma made a great effort, and uh, Stormcat is a very genuine horse. We talked about Stormbird before the, the race, and this, this is a good sire, and he's getting uh, he's getting uh, championship caliber horses. 1.43 and 3, the time a little sprinkle of rain starts. The photo sign glows in red. As yet, there is no win place and show on the board. We'll try to give you the numbers when we come back to the Young America after this local break on ESPN. 380. The uh, eight horse, second Danzig Connection, paid 440 and 320. And then Magambo, Pete's horse, the show price of 320. An exact of 38. Return $39 and 20 cents there. As you look at the rest of it, Rajo's Revenge, that's a very impressive performance. Groovy the favorite, finishing back there, you see it fifth, Mr. Classic, then Sovereign Don, Dunsany, another Romeo, Hey Now Harry, Mr. Spiffy.